to change the version on the uh, digital watchdog 16 channel encoder model is dw cpu hd 16 if you want to change the version to the latest one just connect this usb there's a usb port so to the usb slot underneath the vga cable then with the mouse you want to right click and you go to setup menu you hover over system and configuration you go to system info this will show you the machine's current version what you want to do now is go to upgrade make sure that uh, this first one is on USB because we put in a thumb drive on a US USB port and you hit scan here and then it will show you the file go down here go to start about 10 seconds you will see this come up on the screen the encoder will reset on its own. It took about two to three minutes for it to download. And it takes about, uh, say about two minutes for the compressor to uh, reset. Just give it a few more minutes. There we go. So now we have it back up and running. I only have one camera connected to it. Uh, I have the password on default, so it's nothing on it. I right click. Okay. Wanna go back to um, menu and system configuration, system info, and now you can see the current version. It's upgraded to 22. And that's it. First thing you will need is a thumb drive or a flash drive um, because we will need to download the latest version from the Digital Watchdog website. So I will go to Google, type uh, digital watchdog, and once it sends me to its website, I will go to products, scroll down where it says uh, compressor encoders. And I will scroll down until I will see the 16 channel compressor and the four channel compressor. I will select the 16 channel because that's what I'm working with. And right here, I will click on software. And this is your firmware download so you want to click on download after you download it the files will look like this
And now what you want to do is plug in your thumb drive. And right here, I have my thumb drive came up on L. So what I want to do is just put this to one side. So they're side by side to each other. And I'm just going to select the files and just drag them over. Okay, great. As you can see, I now have both files on my thumb drive, flash drive, and now I can disconnect the flash drive and we can go now to the compressor.